Hello there and welcome to another video of the Shield in a Couch. And today it's episode two or of the series, Is It That Bad? Where we take a look at albums that came out in the past and we examine them to see if are they that bad or were they harshly like <laughs> viewed upon? And again, I have JC Rock and Metal Reviews joining me and Tom, the green man. So, hey guys, how are you today? Good, thanks. Yeah. What about you, JC? Not good. Yeah. So today we're going to talk about an album that I think... Yeah, not good. It's a very divisive album. It's Saint Anger by the one and only Metallica. So uh, we're going to go around and we're going to do the same three rounds of like what we thought when it came out, pick our free, like... <laughs> worst songs and then we'll take a boat and see if is it that bad or it's not that bad so we're gonna start today with tom the green man so tom uh what did you think uh, uh way back in 2003 when you were listening to this album for the first time yeah and I, this is actually an album i listened to when it came out the number of albums that we've talked about i think on on our channels and I said I didn't hear this when it came out this is an album I did listen to when it came out and it happens to be not exactly one of the greatest uh, revered metal albums of all time it's an anger this is actually the copy I bought as well um and I remember being excited the day it came out as well um I think I'd heard maybe just the St Anger single and and I actually like that particular song but I won't go too much into the songs yet but I liked that particular song and I brought it back you know, I remember playing it on my parents' uh, CD player. And, um, you know, the first thing I think I thought wasn't actually, you know, at this time I was still quite new to metal in a way, um, but I had heard the classic albums. <laughs> and I, I did realise just how different this album was in its sound straight away. It was like they were trying to be more like um, Slipknot. Even some of the riffs in this are very Slipknot in style and sound i think um there was even a, in one of the songs a moment where i thought that sounds just like slipknot um and i think they were obviously influenced by the time a bit there possibly but uh, it's interesting because there's some kind of monster documentary is quite revealing i think about the whole approach to this album um and that they basically got together um not in the usual way so so they weren't sort of it felt like they just basically Bob Rock himself said they just went to it's like you know they got together in a garage as a band for the first time that was the sort of sound they were actually going for as well was the kind of getting together as like a band for the first time playing in a kind of garage that was the approach they wanted it raw they wanted it to be very kind of off the cuff I think a bit as well um, and the album sounds a lot like that but for the most part not in a good way and I think the um I think the unfortunate thing with this album is it's kind of now every metalhead sees this as, you know, their first thing that comes to mind when they think of, oh, name your work, your stinker albums. You, I always see some anger coming up and um, I'll save my kind of verdict on the album for the final round you've got, Hector. But yeah, I mean, I think my first initial reaction was I was actually in denial. I actually wanted to like the album so much because I loved Metallica a lot at that time, particularly. I had just heard Ride the Lightning, Master of Puppets, and Justice for All. <laughs> and then it was this, and it was like, oh, you know, I'm really excited. And um, I think deep down, I was pretty disappointed. And that disappointment just grew and grew and grew over the years. Yeah, that's, that's a very good uh, understatement. So uh jc uh, what were you doing when, when this came out yeah i remember when this came out i uh remember watching like the the first single for for the music video i think it was uh saint anger that's what they did in san quentin and i remember thinking i'm like oh wow these guys are getting heavy again so i'm thinking that you know, because they released the two load albums and everybody was saying, oh, they sold out or they're not doing metal anymore. Now they wanted them to say, okay, we're still heavy. Like, look at this. And I thought it was pretty cool. It was like new metal. It was a lot heavier than anything they've ever, ever done. So I, I thought it was pretty good. 
I mean, actually, I actually like the first two singles, even like the the Saint Anger. I thought that was you know kind of catchy. But the thing is, when you listen to this full album, I think it just gets kind of tiring. It's it's a long album, seventy five minutes, and I know they have been making long albums at that time. It's just uh, you know, like I'll like I said, I'll, I'll be getting into this like one during the second round, but I think a, a lot of songs like in the middle they kind of go on for like too long, and you know, towards the end as well, and that's the problem with this. I know like everybody like immediately says this is like like the the bad album when you say okay well, what's like the worst album worst metal album ever made they'll go to this one and the first thing they'll always say is like you know the, the production they always talk about the 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 trash can drums and that's something people always talk about on this album and I think uh I think I mean there is some stuff here that's okay I think it could be maybe like remixed or just re-recorded. Maybe there's just something here, and we'll talk about that a little more. But I, I thought it was some of the songs were okay, but it it just as a whole, it just you know I didn't really enjoy it after like listening to it that much. So that's my uh, that's what I thought about it. Yeah. Yeah. So when it first came out. Uh... Like Tom, I bought it when it came out the first day, but my, I don't have my copy with me. Uh, but I remember I love the Saint Anger video and I like Frantic. Those two songs for me were good. I'm like, they're loud, they're pissed. They're pissed because Napster and everything. So I was pumped for that Metallica album. And then it came out and I listened to it. And I think like Tom, I was also trying to love it. But being like, there's something off here. And, you know, you, you're talking about the drum sounds. I have a picture here of what they use for the drums. I want to show it to you guys quickly. This is the actual picture of what they use for the drums. <laughs> this, this is the St. Anger drum sound, the export sodas, dead on. That's what it sounds like. So, yeah, when I first listened to it, yeah, I wanted to like it. Uh but I remember like listening to it and it's an album that I listened to it when it came out. But when I decided to do this series, I had not listened to this album as a whole in years. So I didn't remember it that much besides those two singles. So I, I got to tell you, like listening to it, it was... It was a, it was, it's too long. And, and I was like, uh, oh my God, like, I, you know, I love Metallica, but I, you have to take the fanboy out and just mm. like listen to it, like just take out the Metallica and just think that you're listening to a band. But yeah, I, I think at that time they, they had got the backlash for Load and Reload, which I think are two both great albums. I never understood the hate for those albums. They're great rock albums, not metal albums, but then people, were so much bitching complaining that they said oh you want heavy let's get you heavy but yes uh, i'm thinking that the production of this album i'm like what were they thinking you know it sounds like you're playing uh jamming with your friends in a garage and that would be okay if it's me with some buddies because we suck but this is metallica the biggest metal band in the world so so yeah, it it's it, it was a I remember back in 2003 being like everyone being like, what the hell is this? Not uh, making uh, about it, but I think like looking at it like years later, uh, examining it, it's a good thing. So now we're going to round two and name the three songs that we think are the worst. So Tom, take it away. Um. So I think my three worst tracks are the first one I've picked is, um, well, Shoot Me Again. I, I kind of find, found that like really difficult to enjoy. Um, I, I think the kind of, it's just kind of the lyrics are so, feel so basic. And, you know, I, I get some of the per the point of this album is to be very raw and basic in a way and, and, and emotional and, and sort of negative emotions and all that. But I just thought shoot me again. I, I was it says shoot me again. I ain't dead yet, and and that, and kind of <laughs> it does that a lot. I think <laughs> by the time you finish the yeah. song, uh, so that's my first choice. Um, the closing track, all within my hands, I, it goes on for a long time. I feel like his voice sounds James's voice in this album. I don't really dig it. Um, I, I mean, maybe apart from in some of the early songs we've talked about. 
because I quite like frantic. I quite like some anger and even some kind of monsters, you know, I don't mind that track either. But as this album goes on, as you've both kind of said a bit, he gets really tiring. Um, and I think by the time you get to songs like Shoot Me Again, it really becomes very tiring. I mean, My World is my third pick. So I think I've gone in a slightly strange order, almost in the order of the ones I, I like the very least as my first pick. So I think I dislike Shoot Me Again the most. They're all within my hands. And then for the third track, I had to think a little bit. But I think My World is, is my third choice. And you can't have it. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> That's a line Very from good. I, I, I was late on to that. Very good. <laughs> <laughs> so what about you, JC? I think uh, the, my first pick would be a uh, Dirty Window. It's just, it's just it's like there's really nothing there that really interests me. It just kind of mm. like... A, a lot of that, like James's vocals, he kind of sounds very, very strained uh, when he's singing. Mm. So there's that one. Uh, my World, that's another one I didn't like. Another one with just like the the vocals when I think like he he just like they just like don't work for him for, for some reason like he's I know they were going through a lot of like problems during this time but it just uh, there's really nothing there it's not catchy the, like the riffs aren't interesting and the other one probably like the one I like the least would be Purify it's it's just a song it just kind of like just kind of like goes on and on it's just the lyrics are very kind of like simple and again i'm going back to those vocals because it's just when he's singing like that pure but he, he seems kind of like he's straining his voice almost so that's what i uh that would be my three i mean there are some other songs that I actually think are not okay but for me it's like mostly like the ones like towards like the middle like you know like tracks four through ten would be like the ones that i struggle with most so um that's my three yeah Nice, yeah. So yeah, so let me. Uh, I I think we have a, a song in common. So I would pick first my world because that song is stupid as fuck. Like it's my world and you can't have it. It's my world. It's my world. I'm like, oh my god. Like no wonder James went to rehab with this album. Like this, this when you when I was listening to this album now, like the first two tracks, yeah, they're awesome. Some kind of monster. I think it's overrated uh it's bad but it's not as bad as some of the other songs yeah. and it sounds like a band okay. that were truly out of sync i'm like the, like metallica i when i listened to this album and i saw the documentary i thought like oh my god like i'm surprised that they didn't break up because this was like the nail on the coffin like i can't believe they survived this because yeah. Uh, when you like it it sounds disjointed it sounds like a band that didn't know what it wanted to be so yeah my world is just terrible the lyrics it it sounds like james channel his inner uh uh temp uh, his inner third grader to write the lyrics it's just bad another song that you haven't mentioned and i just think even the title of the song is stupid invisible kid I was listening to it. And I'm like, what the fuck is this song about? <laughs> what does it, Invisible Kid? What, what Invisible Kid, James? What are you talking about? And it, the, some of the problems with these songs, uh, they're just long to be long. I'm like, I'm like, yeah. why does that song need to be like nine minutes? Like, come on. Like, there's too much fat in almost all the songs. I then, almost uh, picked Invisible Kid as well. I almost picked that oh too. God. It was a riff. I think there was a riff in the middle that saved it. And I was like, okay, I'm not going to pick Invisible Kid. <laughs> it was the Invisible Kid. And yeah. uh, the if yeah. I have to pick a third song, I'm trying to think because there's so much bad stuff here. Like, uh, I think all within my hands, I would agree with JC because it's, Jane's voice sounds like it's cracking. It's <laughs> way too long. And he's like, oh, within my <laughs> I'm like, oh yeah. my god! Like, like why, James? Why? And it's it. Everything sounds bad. So you know, there's other bad songs in here. Like I said, some kind of monster. Uh, when I was re re listening to it, because I used to like that song back in the day, but I was like, I'm like, the song is just way too long and pointless. Uh, and yeah. So now let's go to the third round 
the verdict where we vote on what we would think about this album. So, Tom, your vote. Yeah, I mean, I think, um, I mean, by Metallica's standards, all the albums, because like you said, Load and Reload, I think also are, are good albums. Um, they're just different. But this is this is different again, but it just isn't different in a in a good way for me. Um I think it's got I think it's got one or two things that I like about like we've said, the I the first couple of tracks at least are quite good. Um and even I think it's sweet amber and unnamed feeling are towards the end are okay yeah. too. Um so the sweet amber's got a really good riff actually. Um and I always mention riffs. I'm such a riffs, riffs dependent person. You're the riff <laughs> but, um, a riff person, yeah, riff master. Mm -hmm. uh, well, so I, I think that you know it's raw, aggressive, but it lacks much in the way of song development, refinement, all those sorts of things, and it comes off in that way. And if you're looking for something that you know you want, uh, an album that's you know, he said, I think had they condensed this and made it maybe a forty minute album made it a bit more focused a bit more focused 40 minutes even less than that even less than 40 minutes maybe just made it really raw aggressive spent more time thinking about a few of the songs you might have had a half decent album here you know something that would be you know maybe not as hated as it is but i think i can see i mean i love metallica actually and i i don't like not liking this you know as, as a metallica a bit of a metallica fanboy myself i, I don't like I don't like hating or disliking their stuff particularly, but I think this album, um, you know, it, it is a bad album. It is. Okay, so we got your vote. The vote is bad for uh, the Green Man. So, JC? Yeah, I think it it has some potential. I mean, I, I, I thought the first two songs were, were okay. But... Uh, I think like you know the I know the anniversary like the twenty year anniversary is coming up on this one. That's next year. It would be interesting <laughs> if like they tried to like remix it or even like re-record it. Like I think like these songs can be fixed, but for this album in general, I think uh, I'm gonna say it's it's just really bad. Just the the production is bad. The songs are, are too long. But I do think that. It could. I think if they like went back and tried to like like fix it, I think it would have some potential because there is some some stuff here. Just like re redo the drums, redo the vocals. Yeah, you know. But I think my my vote is still going to be a, be a thumbs down. It's just going to be a. It, it's still bad. Yeah. Bad. Okay. So that leaves me. So yeah, as much as it pains me to say, you know, this is an atrocious album. You know, uh, even I, I love Metallica, but. Like I can't sit here and say this is a good album, but like JC, I think it 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 has potential because there's some great songs there that are waiting to come out, but the production was bad, uh, the vocals were bad. I, I, when I listen to this, I just think of a band that was imploding. Like you can you can listen to it that they were not in sync, yeah. uh, and yes, it's Metallica's worst album ever. That's why I they, I don't think they play any songs out of this album when they tour but i'm thinking these songs sometimes uh, they may sound better live uh because you know the sound will be better like if they would have gone back and trimmed the fat in here and maybe better production this could have been a half decent album because i love saint anger and i love frantic but after that it lost me and i was listening to this album driving to orlando and, and I was like, when does this end? <laughs> like, damn you, Saint Anger. So, yeah, looking at it yeah. years later, my boat is, it's bad, thumbs down. So, unanimous, the three of us have certified Saint Anger as pure shit. So, <laughs> what did you think of Saint Anger years later? Like, uh, do you like it? Comment, <laughs> what are your 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 least favorite tracks or what do you think about this album do you think it's misunderstood and coming up next we're going to tackle the band Nickelback so stay tuned for that for next week so I want to thank Tom the Green Man 
for joining me and JC Rock and Metal Review. So please subscribe to their channels. Tom does album reviews, but he also uh, talks about sci-fi and books. And JC Rock and Metal Reviews, uh, he has a lot of like video rankings and a lot of knowledge in music. So subscribe to him as well. And if you feel like it, please subscribe to me too, so I can get to a thousand and start earning some money. Yeah, I'm kidding. So until next time, people, this is Hector, the shield and a couch, and we'll see you on the third episode of Is It That Bad? Thank you and good night.